that there's a verse in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number 86, which says, Wa idha huyitum bitahiyatim fahiyu biha sanam minna aur rudua inna la kala kulisha lima. That if anyone wishes you courteously, wish back more courteously or at least the same. So if someone wishes you, the rule of the Quran is you have to wish back more courteously. If someone says, Salaam alaikum, you have to say, Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah. If someone says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, you have to wish back, Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, more courteously. Or if they say, Assalamu alaikum, you have to wish back, Wa alaikum as salam. The words are same, but coming from the depth of your heart. Even that is better. So the general rule of the Quran is, you have to wish back more courteously or at least the same. If he has already wished you with maximum courtesy, you cannot improve, at least match it. If someone says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, you can't improve it, say, Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So as far as wishing is concerned, wishing back, the Quran says it is compulsory. Better or at least the same. But wishing, can we wish, can we initiate? There is a hadith in Sahih Muslim, which is in volume number 3, hadith number 5384. And there are about 10, 11 hadiths which say that there is a person who comes and asks Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi that the Jews, they wish us assam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum in Arabic means may death be on you. So the Prophet said, wish them alaikum on you too. So now based on this hadith, because the Jews used to twist the word and say may death be on you, the reply the Prophet gave was may it be on you too. So based on this hadith, many people think that to wish assalamu alaikum is haram. It's not haram. There are a group of scholars who say it's not allowed. But the other group of scholars who say that it's no problem, you should. And I agree with the second group of scholars. Because if we analyze, there are various other hadith. The Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةِ الْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, not but as a mercy to all the world, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. So when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came as a mercy, why can't we wish salam? And there are many say hadith in which the sahabas wish salam to the non-Muslim, including Ali Kitab. So I feel you can surely wish them. There's no problem at all. You can wish them. And if they wish you, you have to reply back more courteously or at least the same. Yes, brother.